Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds That try to tear you down Why they wanna tear me down? Virgo, cousin, what's poppin'? Did you miss me? motherfucking ass listen hey boo hey if this is first time to my channel i'm mocha also if this is first time to my channel look out i cuss okay make us a little make us a lot just depend on what the hell is fucking popping up in this damn reader but okay i cuss so if cussing does not work for you please feel free right down now okay to go find another beautiful reader here on youtube that can further assist you without cussing because the way i'm set up all right i'm gonna do that all right Thank you guys for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, the reading requests, you guys' the support. Thank you, okay, from the most humblest space ever, alright? Also, you guys, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description box below. This message ain't gonna resonate with every goddamn Virgo, okay? Take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe was too big, your ass is gonna fall trying to put it on, period, alright? So, without further ado, this will be a timeless reading. We're gonna say for the month of April, but ultimately, uh, we work with spirit, okay? So, this will be a timeless reading, okay, done in the month of April for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers, as well as the North Node, alright? Um, um, you guys also, oh, if you're new to the family, hey, okay, <laughs> we'll it is functional over here, okay? We don't fight and fuss, we leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss, we share, we grow, we love, we enlighten, we evolve, positive vibes only, positive type things, all right? So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into your reading. Virgo, I had to bring, y'all, I had to bring the motherfucking Palo Santo out, you guys, when I started channeling your energy. It's not the fact that you guys had bad energy. As a matter of fact, I feel like it's separate. It's, it's different groups of my Virgos. But the, um, the, the, the synchronicity as well as the... I heard synchronicities of three. And so the number 333 three, three is going to be very significant. I'm also picking up the energy of sage wisdom, divine wisdom, divine knowledge, occult knowledge, teaching this to others. Also transmutation and manifestation. Heavily, uh, heavily influenced within the month of April. Okay. I also picked up on, I heard earth angels. Okay. So for those of you who are worried about any type of financial issue that may um, actually come to the surface toward the latter half of April into May, I am picking up on something having to do with a vehicle. So this could have to do uh, with like a minor expense. I am hearing help is on the way. Okay. Help will be available. You have to open your mouth and fucking ass. All right. Check your pride at the door in the month of April or time, t timeless. All right. But, um, I also picked up on the energy, you guys. I channeled the song uh, for you guys. This is what made me like the motherfucking Paula Santo, bitch, okay? Some of y'all gonna have to put your motherfucking Nikes on, all right? Some of y'all gonna have to pull your motherfucking sword out um, as we continue as, as we uh, continue to proceed throughout the month of April. For some of you all, I did pick up on an obsessive ex or someone who you have a child with. This, this, this dynamic could definitely be very emotionally, even physically and spiritually abusive, okay? Some of you all are dealing with someone very emotionally abusive. I'm also picking up on someone using children to manipulate another person's progression forward okay so i definitely feel like this could even have to do with petty shit like 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 someone not showing up to take the damn baby to damn daycare or actually like packing their weight even financially i feel like i'm also hearing tables turn okay so i definitely pick up on the energy of you guys really being in the space or spirit really guiding you to be in the space of really um Focused on what it is that you're trying to build, focusing on what it is that you're trying to launch or present or how you show up and present yourself to the world. I'm also hearing self-love journey, okay? For those of you who are going, uh, for those of you who are on the path of celibacy, I am picking up on some of y'all being tempted. Uh, a Sagittarius, it's a Scorpio. Okay. He was so angry about talking at the fucking witch and I, what the fuck? All right. Um... But for those of you who are dealing with the sign of Scorpio, Sagittarius, I did hear Gemini, Aries, okay, with significance, a, a lot of significance on that Mars energy, Scorpio, Aries, okay, as well as Sagittarius. Some of y'all, I'm also hearing Cancer. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who is emotionally emotionally abusive. I feel like this individual, not only do they project their fears onto you, I feel like this is somebody who don't know how to clap when it's not their turn. 
Like somebody can't come up because they don't know how to clap when it's other people's turn. Somebody's a hater, all right? But I also pick up on someone coming in with the intention of conquering. I feel like if you've been on this journey of celibacy, this person could have been the catalyst to that journey. I feel like someone's trying to come in and really test your test you through temptation but I feel like this individual also need a fucking place to stay I feel like someone knows one way of being and I feel like someone's being challenged uh, due to being on the receiving end of some type of like karmic debt that has to be paid I'm also picking up on uh, a lot of past life deeds I'm hearing past life deeds some of y'all can't get rid of somebody in this life because you bonded them to you in a previous life and I feel like for some of you all this is being revealed through your dream space a lot of expansion a lot of expansion and a lot of emphasis on the crown chakra because I feel like for some of you all this is going to be a month where you receive a lot of massive downloads okay some of you all are receiving these downloads I'm also hearing prophetic dreams but I'm also hearing inheritance of okay inheritance of mediumship abilities okay so for some of you all there's a big focus as well on I'm hearing root work the root of the okay the root of the issue root work the I'm also hearing the foundation of the family gift like where where the gift began a great great grandmother could be significant uh, significant and I'm also hearing Cherokee so some of you all could have Cherokee in the end in your bloodline I'm also picking up on a Haitian bloodline also her West Indies I'm also hearing foreign travel, okay? So for some of you all, I'm also hearing entertainment, contractual deals, entertainment, all right? Some of you all are really needing to take your time and see a situation clearly before you rush in and make a major decision. For some of you all, this also has to do with you leaving a fucking job. I'm also picking up on the energy of like work bullies, work bullies. A lot of like dry ass or aggressive ass passive aggressive ass energy that's being projected within the workplace is what I'm picking up on some of you all have somebody who got like somebody has issues when it comes to like power play somebody needs to be in control or somebody has to be in power someone needs to feel as if they're over or they're above someone and someone needs to project like someone also goes through some type of like domestic violence at home so this motherfucker goes to work and like projects that onto other people. Some of you all could also get some type of confirmation of this. I'm picking up on something regarding like the arm. Someone could have like bruises on their damn arm. Virgo, if this is you, some of you all I'm also hearing getting help. Help is on the way. Someone needs to forgive a father figure because this father figure is going to be their way out of an out, out of an abusive situation. I'm hearing with the fire sign. Some of you all is with the water sign, okay? I'm also picking up on some type of like harbored, harbored, okay? So this could have to do with like a, a mother and daughter dynamic, okay? I feel like someone needs to tell a truth or present a truth. I'm also hearing accept or admit to some type of truth regarding someone's like completely playing fucking delusional when it comes to some type of sexual abuse or trauma around sexual abuse that could have happened to you. I feel like someone needs to forgive a mother. Someone's mother, some of y'all could also be finding out that your mother, this could also be the mother of your spouse, is what I'm hearing. But for some of you all, someone's mother is not doing so hot. I'm picking up on something having to do with the lungs. Someone's refusing to like follow fucking doctor's orders or something, something to that extent. But you guys, okay, so the song I heard for you all is, um, If Death Comes For Me Tonight, Girl. I want you to know that I love you. They tell the police I ain't home tonight. Messing around with you is gonna give me life. Yeah, yeah. If this is the kind of love that my mom used to warn me about, man, I'm in trouble. I'm in real big trouble. Okay, so somebody may have to call. Someone please call 911. Tell them I just got shot down. In the bullets in my heart. And it's pissing through my soul. Okay, so for some of you all, someone could be fearing rejection. Okay, I'm seeing this and I'm, I'm hearing, I'm projecting. Okay, okay, I'm receiving this in three different ways. Okay, so for some of you all, I get this. Someone's trying to, um, so, like someone's really stuck on what the fuck they did not express to you like someone could have like 
presented you with a like a bunch of ego or someone could have like dealt with you with their shadow self but someone's going through some type of massive awakening and they're having a realization of who you are or how in depth the connection is especially when it comes to a past life some of y'all are going to find out through your dream space that you could have had children with someone in a previous life like i'm hearing scorpio 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 some of y'all is sagittarius or someone on the sagittarius scorpio cuss but i feel like there's a I heard an obsession or a deep rooted like addiction to a particular individual and it's mutual. I feel like you holding your shit together, but somebody listen, honey, pressure bus pipe, somebody finna lose their shit. All right. I'm also picking up on this energy of like um I heard beware of the air sign. Okay, beware of the air sign, trust your gut because you felt it the first time. Don't go against what you feel, okay? I'm also picking up this up on this could be a feminine energy who does the same type of work that you do, or someone attempting to steal your ideas and remix it into their own okay but for those of you um i am picking up on someone having to call like literally call 911 uh, when it pertains to like getting someone removed from their home like somebody could be you could be telling somebody to leave your house and they don't want to leave okay i'm also picking up on something significant to your children this month some of you all may have to mediate a situation between um, maybe your children and like the, your children and their spouse especially if this is involving like grandchildren I'm hearing CPS, okay? I'm also hearing abuse. Abuse. Domestic domestic abuse. Somebody gonna have to go get some babies, honey. I'm also picking up on proof, proof, or things turning around in the court case when it comes to custody around some type of false accusations um, with abuse. Someone's trying to use a baby for money. I heard income tax season. All right. So, I, I did pick up one. Before I was doing your reading, I had to, like, I was, like, obsessed with, like, finding my selenite. So, for some of you all, you could use selenite or there's a need for you to um, work with work with the crystal selenite. Because I definitely pick up on something regarding seeing clearly or seeing, seeing the root of the issue. I'm also hearing shadow work. I'm also picking up on heavily occult knowledge. This could also be, um, I'm also picking up on reincarnation. So, some of you guys could be researching this. I'm also picking up on a child that's meant... A child that's meant to be reincarnated. Some of y'all, this may happen <laughs> during a damn hookup with a friend. Or someone who you thought you was going to be able to friend zone. But it's destined for you and this person to uh, like be in some type of dynamic. I'm here in relationship. Some of y'all trying to friend zone the love of your life. Alright, so let's get it. We're going to pull from the crystal uh, wisdom healing oracle first. So spirit, what crystal will be significant? My Virgo, my cousins, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, the Cross Watchers, as well as the North Node at this time. All right. Thank you. All right, Virgo. All right. Nirvana. Quartz. Now, y'all, this is a beautiful ass crystal. 11, okay? So, 11 could also be significant. Some of you guys could be embarking on some type of new beginning, or I'm hearing breaking into it and breaking into a new industry. I'm also hearing career transitions. I'm hearing major deals. So, some of you guys, this could also have to do with something being presented with a uh, presented presented in the public eye, something involving communications, okay? I'm also hearing holistic healers. Some of you all, this could have to do with some type of workshop. I'm also hearing something regarding accounting and finance as well. And some of you all, this has to do with, um, I heard multidimensional beings. I'm also hearing something regarding, I heard Kundalini. I'm also picking up on tantrics. I also heard shaman activation akashic most okay higher realms higher knowledge access to higher realms okay all right so let's get it y'all know we don't chop and screw these motherfucking oracle messages we tell them as they is honey number 29 all right 29 all right 29 nirvana quartz enlightenment okay Enlightenment. Nirvana Quartz assists in stepping off the karmic wheel, bringing light and bliss consciousness. For many lifetimes, you have been working with your karma that has now passed. There is no need for restitution nor punishment or guilt. 
Let those go so that you may recognize your full potential, receiving a download of cosmic light that transform your being. Step off the karmic realm and allow your karma of grace to manifest. Open yourself to receive enlightenment. Recognize this as a new beginning and fresh energy. If you are experiencing traumatic times and soul changes, relax and wait for resolution. Do not push against the river. Go with the flow. Karma is created in each moment by every thought and deed. Uplifting thoughts and positive actions ensure, you, uh, ensure your future well-being. The frequency of this stone is exceptionally high. For the highest of the chakra that it aids in is the highest crown. Good for Pisces as well. And those with the soul path of embodying enlightenment on earth. Okay, so some of you guys could have started some type of new journey when it comes to... I am also hearing teaching, okay? So some of you all are spiritual teachers. You are sages. I'm hearing something regarding herbal divination. I'm also hearing luau. So, okay, so some of you guys could be stepping into... Um, Okay, stepping into higher realm spiritually, all right? So let's get it. All right, so we're going to pull from my intuitive deck. Then we're going to lay out some placements real quick. This could, these placements could be, okay, we're going to get that one. We're going to get that when we get there, honey. Let's just dry the damn car, all right? So Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgo? Three. One, two, three. For those Virgos who have their own business, I am picking up on some type of unexpected, unexpected finance or unexpected income. I'm also hearing residual income and something involving investments in cryptocurrency or something actually like paying out or harvesting. I'm also hearing some type of intention that you set within that Libra new moon. Some of you all are going to begin to see that harvest. So I am picking up on rapid manifestations, okay? So let's get into it. At the bottom of the deck, we got toxic mother. Some of y'all need to forgive your mother. Or I'm also seeing, see the root of the issue and how this has affected generations. To know how to begin on healing within your journey, but also healing generational karma. All right. Virgo. Virgo. Let's see what my Virgos. What's going on with my Virgos? What do they need to know? Yep. Holistic healer. Some of you guys... Uh, cause some of you guys could definitely be holistic healer. Some of you all could be researching uh, various ways of holistically healing yourself or healing. So I'm hearing, I'm also hearing healing a mother, okay, or healing some type of feminine energy. I'm hearing high blood pressure, okay. I'm also picking up on nutritionists, okay. Fear of rejection. Some of you all are procrastinating on starting this. It's like you're rich in resources, rich in wisdom, rich in knowledge. However, you're not rich in confidence. And spirit is really working with you at this time with how again how you show up to how you show up in the world. Your passion. It's like honoring your passions, honoring your truth, okay? Mutable sign energy. Some of you guys, uh, this could definitely, some of y'all could be definitely be dealing with a Sag, Pisces, Virgo, or a Gemini, okay? For some of you all, you may even have this in your chart, all right? Some of y'all, this person could definitely be stalking your motherfucking ass, all right? I'm also hearing stealing your ideas, stealing your creativity, all right? Tapping, okay, I also heard siphon, trying, attempting to siphon, siphon your gifts, bitch. Telepathic connection, all right? So some of you all may have a telepathic connection to this person. This could also be someone who is strongly an air. I, I, I get strong fire, strong air with this, all right? Or you could be doing this to a fire sign. Some of y'all, Virgo, I heard y'all hands ain't clean, all right? Synchronicities and confirmations, all right? Again, the numbers 11, 11, 11 in itself, 3, 3, 3. I'm also picking up on 10, 10. And I'm also seeing... Okay, some of y'all could also be seeing, I'm seeing sevens, okay, so something coming into alignment. This could also be some type of like divine timing when it comes to um, some type of situation aligning in your favor. I'm also hearing your finances, and this could also have to do with you speaking some type of truth. Or some truth coming to you, I heard falling at your feet, all right? You guys, heart chakra, okay? A lot of focus. So some of you guys could be working on healing your heart chakra. I'm also picking up on some type of massive heart chakra expansion during this time. I'm also picking up on this having to do with expression or like you guys... You okay? You guys noticing how you how you suppress your feelings or how you suppress what it is that you like expect from people? Like I'm picking up on this energy of you guys like getting out of that energy of like walking on eggshells. Some of y'all been feeling like you walking on eggshells or you can't express how you truly feel or is it or or it's gonna go like unnoticed, unheard, unseen? Okay. 
Thotty Toddy, okay? So some of y'all gonna be finding out that you've been dealing with motherfucking <laughs> Thotiana. <laughs> Thotty McMotherfucking Hottie, okay? This person is a thief. I feel like some of you all this, yeah, some of y'all could be, some of y'all could be finding out that, uh, uh, okay, some of y'all could be getting, getting confirmations or synchronicities and confirmations when it comes to some type of, um, theft regarding a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I am here to watch your bank accounts, watch who you share your debit card information with, like, watch your shit. Some of y'all need to change your passwords, change your locks, change all that. Someone could also be watching your home, okay? Watch the new neighbors, whoever that's for, all right? You guys got media production. Again, being in the public eye, some of you all could be presenting something or the way that you present something being adaptable to change is what I'm also hearing. You guys got Reiki Master, all right? New new study. Some of you all could be uh, researching, trying to get some type of like Reiki healing as well. I'm also hearing past life regression, fragments of the soul. You guys got clear cognizant, and at the bottom of the deck, you guys got unexpected money. Bitch, did I tell you them that money, them coins, honey? I heard referral business, referral business. So for some of you all, it's not what you do, it's how you do it, how you present yourself, how you show up, how it's like being open to continuously transforming when it comes to how you present yourself, the information that you're sharing, your openness to being um, to being receptive, all right? Clear cognizant, unexpected money at the bottom, all right? So we're going to see who. All right, so these placements, you guys, these are astrological placements. These, I'm also hearing astrology and numerology, so some of you guys could be um, studying that. It's meant for you to teach that, all right? I'm also hearing expansion and... I'm here in heightened awareness, expansion, expansion within your intuitive abilities, okay? Alright, so let's get it. These could be your placements or the placements of someone you're dealing with, alright? So for Virgo, you guys got Aries Moon, alright? I'm hearing someone just focusing on their path. You guys got Cancer Rising. 333, three, three, we land 9. You guys got Sagittarius Moon. You guys got fixed north node, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Isn't someone's destiny to be in the public eye, to be um, like some type of like guru or like, I'm also hearing high priestess, voodoo priestess, okay? You guys got Virgo rising. You guys got cardinal north node, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, Cancer. Again, this could be your placements or the placements of someone who you're dealing with who is significant to this situation. Ooh, honey. All right, you guys got Scorpio Moon. Someone wants forgiveness here, Virgo. You guys got Gemini Moon. And you guys got you showing up for your own motherfucking reading. Virgo, I feel like someone's here to assist in some type of heart chakra expansion or assist with some type of like shadow work when it comes to the... Um, to your to the progress within your path or how you receive okay or being open to receive spirit is sending you guys help i heard earth angel capricorn okay all right so we're gonna close out with some moonology from the moonology oracle give me some advice for my virgos some closing advice for my virgos the month of april for this timeless reading you guys got a time for healing all right Seeing things from fresh perspectives, okay? Doing things differently. Being open to change. Being open to uh, uh, adaptability. Being open to knowing that you're not fucking alone. You're never alone. But you do need to take some time to your damn self when it comes to your emotional space. Like really, really, um, really cre creating this space of like, that. that's extremely sacred is what I'm picking up on. Like this sacred space. To honor your feelings, honor your emotions, and execute, and, and really like, be open to live in this space of the now. Some of y'all have a like a, a strong need to know every damn thing and how everything's going to pan out in the future. Show the world the real you. Authenticity. I definitely feel like some of y'all have to make a, a major decision when it comes to a job. Because I feel like this job is like 
stifling you or keeping you stagnant like some of you all are staying in some type of time warp out of out of like some type of fear um regarding regarding your stability i'm also hearing poverty consciousness and washing away okay at the bottom of the deck we have bring love into the situation being open to not listen to someone in order to respond but really understand feel see things from a fresh perspective a relationship is definitely being transformed here but I feel like it's time for you to speak up about what really matters to you, Virgo. And not be afraid to be judged. Or not be afraid to be left. Or not be afraid to be seen or uh, seen as negative or uh, a fucking uh, evil bitch. Or, you know what I'm saying? Some, like, I feel like some of you all are really needing to align with your truth. And everything else around within your external will follow. Alright? So, you guys, please, as always... I send you guys so much love. Please let me know how this resonates within the comments. And I love you long time. Bye, my babies.